The cure accelerator live philanthropic pitch event organized by QSAP and REACH raises awareness of and funding for innovative repurposing clinical trials. These are the highlights of our virtual June 2021 Cure Accelerator Live for Pediatric Rare Diseases. Hello everyone, welcome to Cure Accelerator Live for Pediatric Rare Diseases. I'll have to say you come to the right place if you want to make an impact in pediatric rare disease. As I mentioned, we have uh, an expert panel who's going to help us with questions and answers. And of course, it would not be Cure Accelerator Live without fantastic finalists. They all have impactful projects that really have the potential to create uh, impact for rare disease patients and their caregivers. There are no good treatments for recurrent metastatic disease. And in addition, treatment is very expensive. Adding hydroxychloroquine to the already standard gentamine and docetaxel regimen might enhance the survival of these patients. Using these three drugs that are already approved by the FDA will allow us to get treatment readily available to all patients with recurrent metastatic disease in the short to medium term. Not only does CCMV significantly impact the child's well-being, it places significant financial strain on the patient's family and the healthcare system as a whole. Defining this relationship for valgancyclovir will allow us to repurpose the current off-label use of the drug, which we anticipate will greatly increase the efficacy and safety of the drug. Successfully repurposing valgancyclovir to treat CCMV could yield an enormous 400-fold savings over the child's lifetime. And there's no FDA-approved medical treatment to currently. Intuitively, if we block this signal here, we can reverse uh, the clinical sequelae. And hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to develop a, a safe and efficacious treatment for these children to improve their medical outcome. But can you explain when there's already a connection between the artery and the vein, how a medicine can make that physical connection um, go away? This disease is called Epidermolysis bullosa, or EB, or also known as butterfly children. 40% of his body covered with wounds, and now he's also suffering from a very severe and aggressive type of skin cancer. The budget for this trial completely is $50,000, and this is unique for a trial like this because there's an urgent need now to get a better, safe, cheap, and easy options to treat these patients. But most importantly, it will improve patient quality of life. Thank you to all of our finalists and congratulations to our winners, Dr. Joyce Tang at Stanford University and Dr. Nancy Gordon from the MD Anderson Cancer Center. Thank you to all of our partners and sponsors. For further questions, please refer to the details displayed.